Hi, so uh, my name is Evan Lupton. I'm a director of the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Um, we just got the boards back, so I thought I'd do a little piece just showing you uh, what we've got. Now, I know a number of you have seen this already. Uh, David showed this on uh, Rory's blog a little earlier in the year. Um, so this was the our first prototype for a, for a Raspberry Pi PCB. As you can see, we have uh, micro SD. We have a um, uh, we have our application processor chip. We have USB on one end and HDMI on the other. So today, what we got was one of these. We'll do a close up in a moment. Um, as I think I mentioned on the blog a little while ago, uh, this is a slightly oversized, slightly over cost version uh, of what we're eventually planning to ship as Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're calling these alpha boards. Uh, we have 50 of these turned up today. Um, as you can see, uh, we have a uh, network RJ45 jack, we have a dual USB, uh, we have digital and we have analog television output, um, and we have analog audio and power here. Uh, and we bring out various bits and pieces of general purpose I.O. to a number of risers. Once again we've got an application processor, this time with memory stacked on top of it. We have a little chip here which provides us with our, uh, uh, our USB hub and LAN functionality. So we'll do a close-up of this in a moment. Um, where do we go from here? Uh, I guess we, uh, as we mentioned in the blog post, we're doing a cost down and size down version of this. And those are intended to be the, uh, those are intended to be the, chip, the uh, devices that we ship uh, later in the year. The good news is we've had this in our hands for about eight hours. Uh, we already have it booting Linux, we already have it connecting to the network. Um, hopefully over the next couple of weeks I can give you a, uh, uh, we'll do a couple more videos and show you it running some content, around, running a desktop, maybe even some games and some media. Okay, so this is this is the close-up, i give you an idea of what's on the board. Um, starting in the middle here we have our application processor uh, with uh, 256 meg of RAM stacked on top of it. Uh, down to the side, the LAN 9512, uh, which gives us two USB ports. Uh, and a 1000 Ethernet. Uh, down the side here, um, a jack for analog audio out, and on the back we have digital television out and an RCA jack for uh, analog TV, and then a power connector on this side. Uh, as you can see, there's not an enormous amount of, uh, of stuff on this board, which is kind of important for uh, hitting the price point we're looking at. Uh, the final board is going to be, as I think I mentioned in my blog post, is going to be rather smaller than this. Uh, we're expecting it to be. Uh, um, approximately credit card or business card sized. So to give you an idea of how that looks over this board, that's that kind of size. Um, the last thing we have on the back, we have a full size SD card slot. Uh, some people have asked why, um, why we're not using micro SD. Um, it's really a robustness issue. Um, these sockets are more mechanically robust and we also uh, have found that uh, micro SD cards have that kind of contact lensy kind of feel to them. They you kind of drop them on the floor and spend your whole time looking looking for them, trying to find out where they are. Um, I guess that's it.